You're watching ESPN's Feast Week, presented by Lowe's. It's a shocking development, but more good weather here in the Bahamas as we come to you from paradise, literally. Paradise Island, semifinal number one coming your way, number 25, Wisconsin going up against Oklahoma. Welcome to Bad Boy Mowers Battle for Atlantis. And a check of the bracket. It'll be Oklahoma and Wisconsin to start it off to be followed by Dayton and number four, Virginia. Welcome courtside. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody, he tried to say. John Chummy, Dan Dockich. We're going to get us some turkey later. But first things first, we're going to talk matchup. And here today, you got Oklahoma and Wisconsin and a pretty good battle down low in the post. Yeah, Ethan Happ's a first-team All-American. He went from a red-shirt freshman. He leads Wisconsin in basically everything, including degrees. And he was a little bit thwarted yesterday. Particularly from passing, he's an eight assist guy, which is really rare for a big guy. But McNeese, Jumani McNeese, is a guy that really came on. A couple days ago in practice, he was sensational, and it carried over yesterday. Whatever you wanted, he did. Dump on everybody, he did. Pass it against a double team, he did. You want a little hustle? Hey, this kid played great. Now, for Oklahoma to win, he's going to have to duplicate this. He's going to have to out-hustle, out-play Ethan Happ. He's going to have to do it for 40 minutes because Happ's a 40-minute dude. Now, McNeese, a guy that can give them really good energy, quite an athletic player. And obviously that shot blocking could be a factor here this afternoon. Oklahoma in the white, Wisconsin in the red as we get ready to first of two semifinals here from Atlanta. John Chambi, Dan Dockage, wherever you are, Hope it's a great Thanksgiving for you. Check out our starting lineups, and they're brought to you by Atlantis. As we get ready to jump it up, it'll be Davison, Trice, who had a good game, Iverson, Happ, and Reavers, who tied a school record with nine blocks yesterday. And on the Oklahoma side, Kalikste was in foul trouble yesterday, James Doolittle, Manic, and McNeese. Wisconsin wins the tip. And the Badgers control. Are you surprised nearly going it's Manic on half? Not really. Uh, I think they kind of want McNeese maybe to save a little foul trouble, maybe to come over and help. Lead inside and a nice look. Iverson with his first two. And the scoring gets started. Oh, that's what he does. That's, half is an assist. Point forward, point center, whatever you want to call him. And right there, McNeese didn't get over it close enough to half. That's James hoisting and hitting. Now Christian James had 18.17 rebounds in the win over Florida. Different guy this year, Pooh. Different guy. You know, no Trey Young. Team is his. Scoring is his. Confident late in the game. Confident early in the game. Christian James, the senior from Houston, Texas. Davidson wanders inside, steps back, shoots, and that's short. Manic the board, and Calixte leads him ahead. Calixte into the paint, off the window, and good. Well, the grad transfer from Maine was saddled with foul trouble yesterday. He played only 15 minutes. Did hit a couple of big free throws down the stretch and made a couple of big passes. I, he, he is huge. It, you know, well schooled at Maine by Bob Walsh. There's another pass off the double team. You got, you have to if you're going to come help on half. The guys opposite have to be on the ball side of the basket, the defender. If you're on the your man side of the basket, then a man... You, another guy cuts in front of you, and that's happened twice. I'm going to try to show it to you here in a minute what I mean. James trying to isolate McNeese. As he's got Reavers on it. McNeese flips it up with the right hand. Hap pulls down the rebound. Demetric Trice. Pull up jumper just inside the three-point line. That's a two. Man, a Trice goes at his pace. You know what? Calixte does too, though. They're both pretty good. They, they both understand who they are. They're not Jets. They know who they are. They take their time. They get to their spots. Pretty good. Nice shot inside. Doolittle got to a good spot and flipped it in. And Oklahoma has the lead. Doolittle didn't do much yesterday. You know, he was, for whatever the reason, but good to see him get going if you're Lon Kruger. 
At eight points in that win. That one off the window. Missing is Iverson. Sooners by a point. Fast start here uh, this Thanksgiving. John Chompy, Dan Dockich from Atlantis. Out of bounds. Well, head coach for the Oklahoma Sooners, Lon Kruger, his eighth season at Oklahoma. It's the longest he's been at any stop. He's taken five different schools to the NCAA tournament. Took Oklahoma to the Final Four 2016. And you think about Oklahoma basketball, there is a rich history. But lately, between Buddy Hill, his player of the year, Trey Young, fifth pick in the draft, kind of enhanced even a great history. Blake Griffin going back to McAllister. Bunch of names from Gary, Indiana, playing Oklahoma booth. Your hometown. Nice feed inside Davis in. Reavers harassed and kicks it back out. And the Oklahoma bench applauding the defensive effort. Here's Trice going to work on Calixte. Free throw line. And that rattles out. Rebound McNeese. That was much better by Calixte. He got into Trice a little bit and sped him up, made him fade on the jump shot. Maddox thought about shooting, now a step back, and off the mark. And that one out of bounds, and Oklahoma basketball. Let me show you what I'm talking about here with Ethan Happ. I'm going to try to draw this up and show you where guys maybe should be. You're standing opposite, you're going to get cut right in front. McNeese is out, that look, right there. Guys get inside of James there. You have to make Happ skip past the ball not bounce past the ball to the next man. Perquette will check in as well. Matt Freeman as Manic and McNeese sit down. And a lob in to Freeman who can shoot. Freeman pulls up. Quest with the rebound, the put back is short, half the rebound, Quest the foul. Our under 16 timeout here on Thanksgiving and the Sooners off to a one point lead. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Bad Boy Mowers Builds a Better Mower. Mow with an attitude. And Atlantis Paradise Island. Bahamas at heart. I would say there was cheating there. I cheated. Yeah. I didn't go up there to lose. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, three, two, one, go. And then all of a sudden he's gone. You know, a friend of mine, because of all these things, I've had my T-shirt and hat on, right? So friends of mine in Texas, so now you're, you're, you're shirt in water and hat in water guy. What are you going to be next? Wear your underwear in the shower guy? Okay. The friends are killing me. Yeah. So I took off the shirt. Let the hair flow, baby. Yeah, no, I understand. I mean, just, you got to you gotta show off that bot, you know? No. No, you don't. Ever. Yeah. I'm familiar with that. A little rescreen trying to get Pritzel a shot there. Good defense by the enemy. Inside its hat. Flips that one up. Loose ball. Reynolds diving for it. It's out of bounds. And it belongs to Wisconsin. Badgers. Ranked 25th in the country, down a point early. They picked up a win over Stanford yesterday. I like Stanford's team. I think by the end of the year, you're going to see Jared Hass's team beat some folks and maybe he's going to surprise some people that hadn't seen him early. Half backing down, now a kick down. Colby King knocks it down. Made the only three yesterday, Boog. Late in the game, man, hit Andy. Kobe King injured most of last year, but he is an explosive offensive guy. He can shoot it, drive it strong. Fourth lead change, and we're barely five minutes in. Yeah, King, who played ten games last year, cracked his kneecap and ended up redshirting. He and Trice 
were done after 10, and both of them ended up red shirt. Look at that handle from Hat. Gets inside and then turns it over as Freeman collects the loose ball. And here comes Jamal Bienemy, who is the nephew of former NFL player and Chiefs offensive coordinator Eric Bienemy. And he fires and hits. That's a two. He came off the bench yesterday and did that. He was 2 of 10 only, but man, he was willing. He was not a guy coming in here worried about the bright lights, national TV. He wanted to get some stuff done, and he did. And he was rewarded second half starting. Half feet inside, Iverson, loose ball. And it's Wisconsin basketball. And a line change for Greg Gard. As Hat, Trice, and Iverson all sit. Trevor Anderson will check in. He's out there with Reavers, King, Davison, and Pritzel. He's going to have to guard a little pick and pop here. Davidson had him, but he just lost the ball. King, quarter three, got it. So they've doubled their three-point output from yesterday, and we're barely six minutes in. One guy hit them all. He said half doesn't have help. Reynolds toss inside. Reavers intercepts. Anderson on the move. Now Pritzel. King another three. No one short. Nobody makes three in a row in college. I'm telling you. That nobody. James can't hit. Tip out. And it ends up in the hands of Brad Davison. Now, is that a verifiable rule? No, or? it's a docket rule. Okay, I like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course not. Putting those on a t-shirt. Reavers gets that to go. Now, McNeese is going to have to guard that. They, they, they want to go to that. They being Wisconsin want to go to pick top of the key. Reavers steps off of the, of the screen. Going to get a look from three. Good position inside. Now, McNeese kick out. Freeman steps inside and buries the jumper. And that's what he does. Matt Freeman... The junior from New Zealand. You no, know, actually, Pritzel, that's what they want to do, Wisconsin, with Freeman, is run him off the three-point line. Don't let him click his heels, catch and shoot. They want him to have to drive it. Davison fires. That three wouldn't go. The enemy pulls down the board. Wisconsin still knocking it down at a higher rate from deep so far here today than they did yesterday. Badgers with the early four-point advantage. Reynolds going to work on King. The enemy into the paint. Ooh. Couldn't quite finish that. Looked like he was trying to dunk that dude. Yeah. Reavers wide open. Reavers was begging for it. Oklahoma was all discombobulated. Davison behind the back. They spread out. Pritzel, good look at it. And he can't hit. They had a couple of good shots. They did. Ball came off Pritzel's pinky finger. It came off his, his ring finger and his pinky finger, which made it fade off to the right. He didn't get a good snap. Trying to find McNeese, Reynolds. And it's a foul on Wisconsin. 11.35 to go at semifinal number one. Ethan Hat for the Badgers on top by four. Sebastian, Wisconsin has a phenomenal player named Ethan Hat. He has... Sebastian, Wisconsin has a... Phenomenal player named Ethan Happ. He has tremendous footwork around the block. Like his footwork, yes, it's tremendous. He's very hard to guard because his footwork is as good as anybody in college basketball. Yes. Well done. Well done. That is awesome. And both Jimmy and whatever that C Lions name are, are right. Sebastian, he does have great footwork. I don't think he has as good a footwork as Sebastian, but still pretty good footwork. And that's how he gets himself in such good spots with the post moves, right? With the feet? Which I mean, I'm, I'm talking about half, not Sebastian. 
Yeah, what, what Hap does is he gives a move, dribbles, and then gives three different moves at the end of his dribble. It's very rare. Most guys travel, but yes, the feet dictate the entire thing, and he does it by staying low through the hips. It's kind of fascinating, really. Maddox sets the screen. Odoms. Richard Odoms. Powering inside off the glass. Half the rebound. Can you go up and get it? He's a great hand tap. Just great hand. Wisconsin done a nice job taking care of the basketball so far. Only one turnover for the Badgers as they lead this game by four. Trice gives off here. Aline Ford, who made his season debut yesterday with seven minutes. This is Ford, and he can shoot the three. Off the mark there. Really good, really good by Oklahoma. Well schooled. They know they want Ford to have to shoot the basketball. Ford not ready yet. Now he may be after missing one. So what they did was they stayed ball side with Trice and then left Ford to be the wide open guy. The only guy really that Hap could find. Good move by Lion Kruger. Calixte hesitated and then sliced through for the layup. Well, he plays with great great poise, great patience. Bob Wallace, the coach at Maine, really did a nice job with him. He transferred from Maine, but he's well-schooled. Kobe King inside, nice move. Kobe King's difference maker. He's a different guy for Wisconsin. Go get his own. He's got eight today, coming in averaging a little over five a game. McNeese the screen, Reynolds. Gives off Odoms, and what are they going to say? Will that count? No. Count the basket. Okay. A little NBA right here. I like it. There's the foul. Not sure which way it's going to go. It's a block, so it's on Davison. And count it. Nice. No, they didn't. Count. They did not count. I thought Terry Weimer pointed down, said that was good. What are you, are you for counting that? No. Oh, I, I count everything. McNeese flips it up, short, loose ball. Odoms comes away with it. Hesitation, puts it up and in. And absorbs the contact. Count that one. That one counted. I love this kid, Odoms. Odoms yesterday just, hey, he meant business. He was not in there to mess around. He's not in here to mess around. Rips it out of half. Shot fake. Look, when you get the ball in the lane, take your time. Like Odoms, he's got the ball. So shot fake, and you dictate when you're going up. Two hands on the backboard. He was born in darkness in Alaska. It was 23 nice hours of darkness in Anchorage right now. No? Is it right now? I mean, during during the summer, it's there's a lot of sunshine. It's, what, 22 hours? Of Did he say he was born in the summer? Sorry. I'm, just, I'm just making stuff. I know you are. <laughs> I'm, I'm right there with you, though. It's fine. <laughs> Give out the phone numbers in a second. 10 of the shot clock. Here's Trice. Davison hesitated, Hoist, and coming down with it is Pulley Liverson. Well, it's good defense right here. They started switching this ball screen on top with Manic and whoever else is involved, and it's taking readers away. Iverson backing down, going to work on Odoms. Iverson up and in, and the rejection from Jamani McNeese. Wow. He knocked it into the rich guys in the front row. <laughs> What's this? I think he's left-handed. Wow. Yep. This is a good defensive lineup, and that's the reason you kind of play McNeese off of the main post guys. Step back two for Trice. Kalexte comes down with it. And now the Sooners on to go down a point. James inside. Loose ball. Iverson fighting for it. McNeese as well. And they go possession arrow, and it belongs to Oklahoma. So this is the first of two semifinals. Our second one coming up in our bad boy mowers battle for Atlanta. So it'll be Dayton and Virginia. And that's at 4 Eastern today, and then the championship tomorrow at 2 Eastern.
Me and you, you and me, Dockich. Yeah, me and you, mostly you. Um, <laughs> I'm looking for Virginia to see how good they are. You know, yeah. Kyle Guy hasn't been great yet. You know, Ty Jerome, the backcourt is fantastic. But I'm looking to see how good they really are. I saw Duke in person, Kentucky in person, Michigan State in person. I'm curious to see if Virginia's of that ilk. We impressed with Gonzaga. Oh, wow. Right Good win. Get go, right? I mean, from the get go, the ball movement, taking advantage of mismatches. Got a foul on Oklahoma. The Badgers, by the way, won for their last eight, including 0 for 5 for 3. Ron Kruger's team locking down defensively, and he's been half checking back in. Half so far today has been held scoreless. Coming off a nice effort. In their opener against Stanford, he had 16 and 12. Today, has no points, but does have four rebounds. Because of the double, he's going to have to have. Boog DeSinek and me would say, if, as somebody said on Get Up, if you're going to be a college team like Duke and beat Cavaliers, you might want to beat college teams first. I was. Right? I had under six minutes <laughs> for you to bring that up for the first time. <laughs> I mean, right? I mean, no. Look at him. Calixtus finding space, knocking it down. He's got eight, and Oklahoma leads this one by three. Difference in the games. Calixto, he has been under control. He's gone and got his own shot. He's controlled the offense, and Odom's on the defense. Been same thing. Terrific. 7-0 Oklahoma run. Half inside left hand. Contested. McNeese the rebound. I think he used a good word or a good phrase. Under control. Calixte. And right there takes that shot. Manic inside. Can't convert. Wisconsin the rebound. Not a good possession. You know what? Calixte didn't need to take that shot. It's almost like when you and I praise somebody. <laughs> they do something. That and it's opposite day. It's Costanza. I wish, I wish we had that ability right. to say stuff. But, I mean, not this game in particular, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah. There's a three by Trice. Trice's man went to help, and Trice just slid five feet to his right, cleared a lane for readers, Reavers to get it to him, and he did. Big shot. Big turn of events right there. The next day pull up. No good. Iverson, the board, we're tied at 20. Closing in on six and a half to go here, first half. Tries another jumper. Not able to hit, loose ball, out of bounds, off half. And it'll be Oklahoma basketball when we return. A good one here in Atlantis. Understand what we're trying to do? Yeah. Right. Yep. Good fight. Good fight. A lot of good plays for each other. Really, a really good defensive. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Hey, we're going to do that. We're going to do that every time out. Good job. Feel good? Yes, good sir. Back here in the Bahamas, John Chami, Dan Dockich. One of the things Lon Kruger's got to be happy with rebounding. So far, a 19 10 advantage for the Sooners. And yesterday in the win over Florida, they out rebounded the Gators 48 34, including 15 on the offensive glass. They pounded it. I mean, they did. They played harder in Florida. They're playing harder in Wisconsin right here so far as well, particularly on the, on the glass. Doolittle goes all the way around and puts it in, and a nice work there. Anderson just kind of thought he was going to switch. Doolittle said, I'm competing here. Anderson was just picking a man up. Doolittle was balling. Charlie Thomas into the game for Wisconsin. They almost threw it backcourt, and now Anderson inside. Feeds to Thomas off the glass and good. It was nice by Trevor Anderson. They made the save back here. He put his head down and did what Odoms did to him, which is just drive it right to the rim and figure it out later. James will fire and hit. 
Christian James from deep. It was a miscommunication. Anderson had been switching everything into the middle. And Hap was involved. Anderson didn't want to make the switch. Hap thought they were making the switch, and you left the best shooter in the entire island wide open. Three-point advantage for Oklahoma. Close in on five to go first half. Thomas gives off. Anderson inside and McNeese blocked it out of bounds it'll stay with Wisconsin five on the shot clock what's your take so far and how these teams are matching up my take is that Oklahoma is two things one figured out a little bit of offense here with a little weave action that's number one and number two with switching ball screens they figured it out defensively as well for Wisconsin you're gonna have to play through the post have not been able to get half involved much but there's trice another three and we're tied back up Demetric trice with eight yeah trice is the only guy going davidson's going to have to join the offensive party you see here they're switching everything and now trice is in the middle they got anderson out because it didn't work very well Doolittle picked up the pivot foot it's a travel and, and pritzel was different than anderson there and forced it forced to travel watch right here they switch in, they're not switching. Both guys just leave. And that's a simple switch because that's what you had done the previous three times in the same possession. Anderson missed two of them and he got taken out. Wisconsin's only turned it over once in the first half. As they feed into half, the double team comes. Pass deflected, the enemy takes it away. There's a turnover. The Euro step and the foul. Oh, I like the enemy, don't you? A lot. Oh, yeah. Uncle gonna be the head coach in Colorado? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, again, if you're the offensive coordinator in the NFL for a team that scores like that, I would think you'd probably be in line for an NFL head coaching okay. job at some point. Yeah. Last foul on Pritzel, his second. The enemy at the strike. To old man it but why do guys wear the Allen Iverson sleeve on the right arm do you have any idea well can I give you the I mean I, I, there are a lot of different reasons for different guys but can I give you yeah. young, young man it yeah maybe I think it looks cool yeah that's it <laughs> that's how's exactly, that that's it that's okay. all you need and is old man okay with that answer oh, old man says you're right Nice pass. Trice kick back. Reavers. Well defended here by Oklahoma. Inside the half. Going to work on McNeese. And the shot was blocked. Half got it back, but he was stepping on the baseline. And it'll be Oklahoma basketball when we get back. Sooners by a point. Tell you what, that looks cool. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Lowe's. Hurry in today for huge Black Friday savings. And Atlantis Paradise Island, Bahamas at heart. Answer to that question is, I don't know if they're better. Uh, last year this time, Oklahoma was pretty good. It's early. Maybe a better moving the ball team but we'll see and I do believe the Big Ten is the best conference from top to bottom I think the Big Ten you think about Iowa Minnesota you know the top of it Michigan's been unbelievable Ohio State fantastic two road wins I do think the Big Ten's best conference Michigan State well let's stay feed inside McNeese kicks back out 10 of the shot clock Good hands by Trice, got it off of James, and it's a turnover. It'll be Oklahoma basketball. I think the other thing, too, is that if you, you chart the way a team is playing as the season goes on, if you're talking peak Oklahoma last year, I don't think that this game is as good as peak Oklahoma from last year. But maybe you could argue the way they were playing at the end of the year. Yeah, no question. Uh, much more comfortable. You know, Seth had a great point uh, on Twitter today. 
at Seth on hoops, by the way. Um, did you know that R.J. Barrett has missed 75 shots for Duke? And Williamson has taken 75 total shots. Wow. I didn't know I did that. Not. that was a nugget from Seth Greenberg. Might want to get Zion more touches. Have his people call Coach K. End of the game last night. Not a lot of passing. Those past, those final few possessions. You know what there was? A lot of blocked shots by. Uh, there it is. Under 10 on the shot clock. John Chomby, Dan Dockett here in the Bahamas. Coming up at the half, Chris Cotter, Seth Greenberg. Loose ball, diving for it and picking it up is Brad Davison. But, Davison last year tucked it out through those shoulder injuries. But what a great play by Ethan Happ. He defended the three, recognized, sprinted in, got a layup. Oh, he missed. Missed twice. He got great position, got a great feed over Manic, and could not finish it. Well, he's played a terrific defensive game. He was great the last possession, recognized, and Kobe King fell asleep. The lick stayed in James, and there's a bucket, and Christian James has eight. Sooners by three, closing in on 90 seconds to go first half. Reavers wide open. Half went down to the deck. Don't fall asleep on the best score on an entire island. Look at the opposite side. Little dribble. Kobe King, you can see him just right on the other side. James cut right over the top. This is not a big island. The best score on this island is Christian James. He's currently wearing number zero in white. You've got to stay with him at all times. I don't care if he's in the pool. Stay with him. Yeah, I get you. I don't care if he's going down a slide. Rapid Rivers. Yes. Casino, stay with him. Rivers collects the inbound. Only the third foul on Oklahoma, by the way. Here's Davison, kick out. Trice got another. Dimitri Trice having himself quite a first half, 11 points. And his third three of the game. They hit one yesterday against Stanford. Tied at 28, Kalikste trying to find Doolittle. Loose ball ends up with James, and then the pass is stolen away by Trice. Eighth turnover on the Sooners. Trice to half, that's gorgeous. That's smart basketball. Two best players, same side, spread the others out with a couple of shooters. First two of the game for Ethan Happ. Timeout, Oklahoma. 30-second timeout, and we'll take it with him. Now back here in the Bahamas, Oklahoma. And Wisconsin, and here's Hap. Little spin, flips it up and in off the feed for Trice. You know what, Hap, even though he hasn't made a bucket until that time, and missed a bunny just a minute ago, has really played a terrific help side defensive game, getting his hand on balls. He saved the last two baskets. Trice came up with the steal, but earlier in the possession, Hap made two nice plays deflecting the ball. An 11 second differential shot clock to game clock. Five ties, six lead changes in this one so far. Now the shot clock is under 10. The lick stay fires from deep. As Trice pulls it down, not the best choice. A guy had a quickness advantage on with Reavers out there. Reavers. Clock winding down, leads in, and draws the foul. And Reavers will go to the line and shoot two. Reavers for the first time, I've been doing all of his games, a lot of his games, first time I've ever seen him, two separate different dribbles. Crossover behind the back, shot fake. Got McNeese up in the air, point four seconds. First free throws for Wisconsin. Hey, 
McNeese hasn't scored first half. Kalik staying short with that shot. And the number 25 team in the country will take a three-point lead into the break for Greg Gard's group. Much better shooting from deep here today. Six threes for the Badgers, and they lead it by three. 31-28, back to the studio. Chris Cotter, Seth Friedberg. You're watching ESPN's Feast Week, presented by Lowe's. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, wherever you are, we're enjoying ourselves. Start of the second half coming up. Wisconsin leading Oklahoma 31-28. Welcome back to Bad Boy Mowers Battle for Atlantis. As we get ready for second half action, our first semifinal still to come. It will be Virginia taking on Dave. John Chambi, Dan Dockich. We thought there would be a big battle down low in the post between Hap and McNeese didn't really turn out that way. Not yet. Uh, Hap only one for six. McNeese hasn't scored, but the story really, it's been Dimitrik Trice. Dimitrik Trice, no surprise really. I mean, Dimitrik Trice is a kid that really averages 18 points a game. You see Ethan Hap. He'll end up with double digits rebounds, probably double digit points, but first half, not much. But this kid has been really good. Only one three on the entire team. He hit none yesterday. He's three for three. And a couple of them pretty tough. The one right there off an of inbounds, and this one under pressure. But without Dimitri Trice, this would not be a three-point lead for Wisconsin. Our first half stats brought to you by Atlantis. And Wisconsin won three in their game yesterday against Stanford. They have six today. Feed inside, half lost the handle, finds Reavers, goes to work against Manic. And there is Iverson to pull down the board. The Wisconsin sets it back up. Iverson jump stop inside and puts it in. Khalil Iverson, he goes 6'5", about 220 pounds. And a senior from Ohio with four points. Great two-foot jumper. You know, a lot of guys need that step. He can spring. You saw it on the rebound. Manic step back and gets it to go. That's a three. Brady Manic, his first three points of the game. That was Larry Bird. My best Johnny Moe. It's just like Bird. Shot it right there, just like Bird. As the great Scott Van Pelt said, that was right in the eye hole of half. Half inside spinning, flips it up and in. It just starts when you take away his dribble at the end of his dribble guarding him just starts and you have to keep your hands above your shoulders if you drop your hands he's so quick and he flips it up easy do little inside grabs the rebound over Davison and then a kick out manic and James down that's a three and Reavers with the board gives it off to Trice Wisconsin the ball up by four. Got to go in the, got to go in the half here again. I'm going to go to the half. Reavers wide open. Got it. Well, you got to go to Reavers at the top of the key. I like what Trice did there, though. Use the pick and pop. McNeese has not been able to come out, and if you let Reavers open top of the key, you got problems. Offensive foul. And I think Reavers sold that a bit. You know, half, it, it just kind of starts at the end of the dribble. Okay, dribble, dribble, stop, step through, pivot. And you have to keep your hands up. And it's really good, a little high ball screen. Reavers replaces, the screen was with half. Reavers replaced as McNeese was watching the ball. Pretty good action for Wisconsin. Damani McNeese sits, he has not scored, and he has three fouls. Toss inside, half off the glass, and he absorbs the contact, and he'll shoot two. They continue to do a nice job at times feeding half over Manic. You know what? When a man, and you're in the post, and a guy plays on the high side of you, meaning 
on top of you. Then you move him up the lane to give yourself room to the baseline. That's what Half did right there. When a guy plays behind you, you back him down into the lane. Hap is really schooled at being able to feel the body of the defender and move him in the direction that he wants him to go. Hap gets both free throws, not known as a great free throw shooter. He's got six now, and all of a sudden the lead is nine. Biggest of the game for the Badgers, Manic. The lick stay with the bigger Reavers on him. Calixte gets inside, blocked by Iverson. Reavers tries to track it down. And a collision out of bounds. It'll be Wisconsin basketball. Iverson's been great. N not good. He's been great this half. It started with the first bucket of the half, but he's... Look at, look at half. He goes and play. Here comes uh, Iverson over. He's been fantastic. Defensively, half's been here all day, but Iverson to start this second half has given great life both ends. John Chambi, Dan Dockich. Happy Thanksgiving, buddy. Oh, same to you, my brother. Second got Mike half. Swanson. We got to include him. He's That's been one behind it. No doubt. Swanson's somewhere in the ring today. Half kicks out Trice. And now Davison feed inside and finds. Khalil Iverson. Well, in Orlando, things get started at the Advocare Invitational. Lake Buena Vista tips off today. You got Villanova and Canisius, Oklahoma State, Memphis. Later on, Charleston, LSU, and UAB and Florida State. How good is Florida State, but they blast the floor and they guard. They're tough. Hits a boy, makes shots. Memphis got a big win over Yale. Now you say that's what he's talking about. I watched that game. Memphis was dead in the water in, in the first overtime, and Penny Hardaway ended up doing some things. Got a win. Yale's decent. Princeton. Harvard's good. Harvard's good, and I think Penn is supposed to be pretty good. Yes, absolutely. This is tough to guard right here, I'm telling you. You're just hoping he misses. He did miss. It's out of bounds. It's Oklahoma basketball. He's always talking. He's a point center, forward, whatever you want. I mean, and sometimes the ball rolls off of his, the heel of his hand when he goes to lay it in. He loses a little bit of control. He did there. Yeah, I was talking to Coach Garden. He, he said one of the great things about Hap's development is that as a teammate. You know, he was a bit shell shocked coming to college and Kaminsky and. You know, all those guys are blasting him every day in practice. And he's just he's just become a much better teammate and leader. Block and count it. Wow. How about Doolittle? Absorbs the foul. It'll go to the line. How many times has Davison been on the ground? See, I think that's a charge. I know you're supposed to be set, but when you lean your shoulder in into the man and the man is moving, I think that's a charge. He does too. Who doesn't agree with me? He would, have, he, would have, he would have said, I agree with you. He doesn't. There's the giggle. I would like to vote no on that proposition. <laughs> foul or no foul. You, so you thought he was moving? I didn't think it was a charge. I, th I think by and large, it's gotten better, but charges are called too frequently. Trice, the three, got it. That's another. Dimitri Trice with his fourth, and he's got 14 points. Yeah, pretty good look by Pritzel, understanding the hot hand, going to Trice, not taking a bad shot. The next day, got to find Doolittle. Pass was a little bit low. And a timeout called by Wisconsin. Do you agree with that timeout? You mean taking it? Nine point advantage. Yeah. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Lowe's. Hurry in today for huge Black Friday savings. And Atlantis Paradise Island, Bahamas at heart.
Well, I bet you didn't know that badgers like to swim and ride inner tubes and go down the, the Rapid River. Well, they do. There they are. And they had a lot of fun. Kids from Wisconsin enjoying themselves. And Oh, now the water slide as well. That was high octane. A spot the championship on the line here, Oklahoma and Wisconsin. And so to come, Dayton and Virginia. That'll be a two east in our championship tomorrow, right here. Bad Boy Mowers battle for Atlanta. Pukshambi, Dan Dockage, happy Thanksgiving. And right now, Wisconsin on top with the basketball as they lead by nine. One of the things we've seen today, taking care of the basketball. Trademark for the Badgers. They turned it over three times. 12 to 3. 12 assists, three turnovers yesterday. They had seven turnovers in the first half. That's their, that's their season average. There's that cut off the double. He is such a good passer. Finds Kobe King, who'd been quiet for a bit, now has 10. And the lead is 11. James inside against King off the glass. Plus tax, he'll go to the line. Oh, that was really good coaching. And cross screen James towards the basketball. And absolutely no match is Kobe King with Christian James. Go, boom! Looks like they're going to have a tremendous season. Hold up, let me get up in it now. I'm hit up. Somehow this one seems different. I'm feeling free, I'm finna bring it now. The ACC Big Ten Challenge. Indiana takes on number one Duke Tuesday at 9.30 on ESPN. What do you got there, Dockage, Indiana, and Duke squaring off in that one? Indiana's going to play Duke well. Indiana has a very nice offense with two freshmen. Kind of leading the way, Rob Finnessy, who has been terrific. And everybody knows Romeo Langford, one of the top five players coming out of high school last year and Jawan Morgan can go, go down in the block. I think Indiana's pretty good. I think Indiana's really, really good. And um, going to end up with a good, really good basketball game. 45-36 our score. And Wisconsin on top here. Trice gets inside. And half with the putback. Price found a slot. Help came over. Nobody rotated. The rotation for Oklahoma, both against the double team and to block out, has not been very good here in the second half. Half with eight points, nine rebounds. McNeese spin and one. Jamani McNeese with his first points of the day. And he will go to the line. Uh, they've got to get him the ball. This is a really nice spin, really quick spin. Right off of Hap's left shoulder. And, you know, when things aren't going, you go inside. They went inside to James. He got a layup. They go inside now to McNeese. And that's the way I think Oklahoma gets back in this game. Take it inside, then kick it out. Shoot threes off of inside out. You see that? Jamani McNeese fakes a mean velvet kick. You like red velvet cake? Yeah, I don't like any cake, boo. Yeah. You? Right. Are you looking at my body? <laughs> I love looking at your body. Favorite Thanksgiving dessert? Uh, apple pie yeah. with whipped cream and ice cream. I hate doubling up, but I'm with you. You know, I had a stretch where it was pumpkin pie, but it changed on me. Well, I think pumpkins got too pu uh, publicized. Trice knocks down another. That's his fifth three. And Dimitri Trice, the redshirt sophomore, with 17 points. He's shooting over guys. The, 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 the pressure has been there a little bit. If the hand has been, made him lean back just a little bit on his jump shot. They get an offensive foul on Oklahoma. And that'll be on Matt Freeman. Yeah, he moved on the screen. Terry Weimer, one of the NCAA's best officials, saw it. Freeman threw a hip as an offensive player was coming off of his screen. And Weimer right there. Ethan Happ will grab a seat. Happ on the day, eight points, nine rebounds, five assists. Last time this lineup was in, Kobe King was the offensive guy, number 23 in red. This is King. 
Going to work on the enemy. Step back. Shot block. And the Sooners pushing up ahead. It's James working on Reavers. And the throwdown. Look out. Christian James just too quick, too explosive. He's got a dozen. Cupped it like a running back. Little Walter Payton through the lane. <laughs> Dunked on the old state of Wisconsin. The enemy and McNeese and a turnover as Reavers turns it over. Just the fourth turnover on Wisconsin. Watch him cup it right there. He cups it. Pretty good. Into your living room. It would behoove you to get in help side early against him because jumping after he's jumped is bad business. Yeah, that that dunk earns you more time. Did you say it would behoove me? Yeah. You're talking to me? Yeah. Okay. It would behoove me. Freeman can't hit, tries the board. Nine point game, under 13 to go. Yeah, really good move here. Price another. Man, is he feeling it. 20 points and another three pointer. That is his sixth of the day. I was going to say, good move getting Hat back in because offense was not flowing. Oklahoma's going to call timeout. Lon Kruger and Terry Weimer having a chat. But the lead is a dozen right now for the Badgers. Trying to find their way into the championship game. Bad Boy Mowers battle for Atlantis. And Demetrik Trice getting it done from downtown. They didn't invite us to that knockage. We usually get invited places once. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. Our crew working hard. And here on this holiday, it's been a, a fun day. Thanks, guys, for all your hard work here. First of four games still to come, Dayton and Virginia. And a chance at the championship game. Dimitri tries two off his career high in terms of points and he has set a new career high with six three-pointers made wisconsin record eight bronson koenig 19 or excuse me 2017. There's davison is trice and half both hit the floor trice limping a tiny bit for his older brother travis trice thousand point scorer at michigan state off here, Davison. Finds half inside. And now Iverson blocked by McNeese. And Jamani able to save it. Nope. It hit the baseline. It's out of bounds and it stays with Wisconsin. Oh, that hit out of bounds. It's hard to see. Yeah, it's it it's double line, you know? Yeah. Iverson on Freeman, yeah, but the shot clock expiring, it's a violation and a turnover, Sooners basketball. And now if you're Oklahoma, you've got to get the ball inside and if you're going to shoot it, it has to be James or played through James against Iverson. Now they're trying to get James on the block, they went a different direction with it. But you got a guy averaging 23, he's got to start touching the basketball here every possession. I mean, he's your guy. The enemy short on that last shot. Davison now half working on Freeman backing down. The feed inside, but they get the foul. I believe the bump is on Freeman. Yep, it will be. 
Oklahoma needs to adjust their double. They're, they need to double from a guard, not big to big, because Hap has it figured out. He's either going to go the opposite big or he's going to go the opposite wing. Oklahoma doubles again. You're going to see either layup or wide open three opposite half. That last foul of Freeman, his second. Now it's half with McNeese on him. Quick move off the glass and good. And half now with 10. Now, the staff was upset with Oklahoma. The double guy came way too slow. He was asleep on the weak side, and half one on one is not going to work out well for Oklahoma. Ball's got to go to James. Reynolds to McNeese. McNeese double team fighting through it, and they get a foul. What's Hap here? Hap's just going to go faster than the double comes. Double's supposed to come. Who's supposed to come? Nobody. Uh, Odoms is late, and if you're late on Hap, it's over. The double is supposed to come as the ball is being fed to the post guy. If you're late, you're done. Yeah, that wasn't even double team. No. Right there. That was just the guy going at the basket. Yeah. And the other guy helping a little. <laughs> right, helping a little. A little. Yeah, but Not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to offer you my help. A little. <laughs> Here's a dollar. I need ten. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Sooners down by 14. McNeese. Yeah, that rattles out. You got to go to Hap. Iverson. I'm sorry, Boo. You got to go to Hap on the left block again. He has it figured out. Iverson spinning, and now half inside gets real close. Had a good look at it, just a little short with that shot. Trice to the corner, Kobe King, great look, and they bury it. They have really worked a nice offense today. That little slot right down the right of the lane with a shooter on the ball side corner has been death for Wisconsin so far. 58-41, and the Badger is here today have been absolutely on point offensively shooting 56 percent from the floor biggest lead of the afternoon a birth of the championship game on the line bad boy mowers battle for atlantis semi-final number one a lot of guys were involved in it see iverson 21 he got the rebound out in traffic and then that little slot right there where manic had to make a decision do i help do i stay he helped got beat Wisconsin has made six straight from the three-point line. Eight of their last nine from three. So the lead is 17. And a reminder, tomorrow, how about some college football? UCF, number nine in the country, taking on USF. And then a battle in the Big 12. Kyler Murray, number six, Oklahoma. Will Greer, number 13, West Virginia. It's at 8 Eastern, and as always, you can watch both live on the ESPN app from anywhere. Sooners, by the way, are in the Big 12 title game. West Virginia has to win to have a shot at joining them. It's Saturday, Ohio State, Michigan. You've got Indiana, Purdue, and the biggest of all games. Be the most watched game in the country. Indiana, Purdue, Wall Street. Reynolds in and out. Offensive foul as Trice able to draw the charge on Miles Reynolds, the grad transfer from Pacific. We talk a lot about half, but here's here's Trice doing everything. I mean, let's be honest. He's handled the ball. He's assisted. He's knocked in shots. He's organized them on on offense. He's talked on defense. Take charge. He's played a great great basketball game. I got a quick question for you. Yeah. If you hook your son up to a lie detector and it's hard apart, Michigan versus yeah. Ohio State. I don't know. Uh, yeah, Dock it. Hard to hard. Answer the question. Answer. I don't have one. Right I mean, now. I'm usually not. Oh! Almost a slam there as Iverson was. Came, came so close to throwing it down and bailed Dockage out of that answer. He's coaching at Ohio State, so I'll say Ohio State. But I don't say that with much. I don't know. I don't know. You know what I mean. So I don't know. You know what I mean. <laughs> oh, Wisconsin here in the second half. Here's a look in close. 
I mean, even with that hard foul, he almost threw it down. He is their best athlete, Khalil Iverson. He's played a great second half. First bucket of the second half, got it, got it going with a, with a rebound in traffic. If, they're, if there's going to be a comeback, it's going to happen right now. Well, with half, half on the bench. Half on the bench, that's right. They haven't played well with half on the bench today. Odom's inside left hand will go. Nothing wrong with Odom. I, I like Odom's a ton. He is strong. He is fearless. He's tough on both ends. We just haven't seen much of Christian James. Hasn't been able to get going doing anything. Manic, nothing. Trice, good feed inside. Davison had it stripped away. And it'll stay Wisconsin basketball. 14 on the shot clock. Badgers with a 17-point advantage. John Chambi, Dan Dockich, happy Thanksgiving wherever you are. We're in the Bahamas. Davison inside. Just kind of had that one roll off the, the back edge of the rim. Collects dead. High arcing shot. That'll go. He's got 10. Started out great. They did. Yeah, he was a catalyst for, the re, you know, for Oklahoma being up in the game after about 12, 15 minutes. But haven't heard much of him either. Closing it on eight to go. And the Badgers leading by 15. Odoms on the smaller Trice. Demetric Trice. Reavers from way downtown. Got it! Odoms had Reavers under control, but Doolittle just stayed and left Reavers. And that is Reavers' shot spot. Top of the key back. Calixte maintains the handle. 18 point deficit for the Sooners. Doolittle trying to find Manic. And that one out of bounds. Well, Wisconsin, the Badgers have found their rhythm offensively. And benches on both sides have been into this one. It's a holiday, Thanksgiving, wherever you are. Hope you're enjoying it. And right now, it's the Badgers enjoying this one a bit more. Well, lots to do here in the Bahamas, including how about some golf? Our hoops match up right now. Wisconsin leading by 18. This is the Ocean Club golf course. Tom Weisskopf designed it. Par 72, about 7,100 yards. It's played host to the Michael Jordan Celebrity Invitational, the Michael Douglas and Friends Celebrity Golf Tournament. And it is home to the Pure Silk Bahamas LPGA Classic. And then our tournament is home to those two guys. Hey, what are you going to do today? I don't know. I'm going to dress up like a turkey and go to a basketball game. Do you still have your pilgrim stuff? You know what? Actually, I do. I'll bring that. So that's probably how that phone call works. <laughs> What are you going to do? I don't know. Uh, you get your pilgrim, I'll get my turkey thing, and we'll go walk around Atlanta. And we'll go watch some hoop? Yeah, okay. You know what? That sounds great. I don't, you know, the thing I don't understand is in sports overall, that one I totally get. But when did it start to happen? It was like 10 years ago that somebody, I call you up, hey, Dockage, let's go to a soccer match. I'm going to wear my Spider-Man costume, and you wear your Green Man costume. <laughs> I don't understand that. When did that start? Like, it's, I feel like I missed a meeting. <laughs> hey, what are you doing today? Let's go watch soccer, and I'll put on my Spider-Man costume, and you can put on the glowing green guy costume. Sounds great. All right. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> let's make an afternoon of it. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, man, that guy whips out a musket. We're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is a fair point. Where do you spit in that thing? Like, how do you breathe in those? Look at Reavers. Reavers. Rejected by Reavers. And now Trice, who's two off his career high of 22. He has set a career high with six three-pointers made. Manic collects the turnover. 
And the enemy trying to find Doolittle, who hits. How many times is Brad Davison on the ground? Uh, in, I mean, I'd like a, a running two-game total. Play a drinking game. Oh, my be a gosh. <laughs> Brad Davison hits the floor. And another. Trice. Had a good look at it. Got it. That's a three. A new career high for Dimitrik Trice. He's got seven three-pointers at 23 of the afternoon. This looks easy, but it's not easy. The shot fake, fly by, gather. I'm telling you, left block. He has it all figured out in this game. Games are organic. Shot fake, one dribble, guy coming back at you. He has made making threes look easy. And we got bows, we got arrows, we got, I don't know. And remember as well, I mean, this was a tight matchup in the first half. Oklahoma led by three with 150 to go. They were up 28-25. And now this has turned into a blowout with 621 to go. I mean, just second half action, and Wisconsin has taken it to Oklahoma. There, there's a theory in football mostly, you know, players not played. And, and in this game, it has been players. I mean, the the stars, the 18-point-a-night guys, Trice and Hap, have played really well in the second half, and, and the, the main guys for Oklahoma haven't done a thing. Trice will try another. And eventually Odoms comes away with it. Under six to go. James able to hit. But well, he does it. for Christian he, he does it easy, dude. He, he just caught that and flipped it up easy. Just haven't had enough touches second half. Came in averaging in the low 20s, coming off that 18 point performance against Florida. Houston native. The same high school member of Mecca Okafor. Mm -hmm. Same school that the Mecca went to. And here's James on the move. And that was Iverson just speeding behind him and no one alerted him. 15 turnovers on Oklahoma. Doolittle didn't say a word. I was watching him. I saw Iverson spring. Manic didn't say a word. Nothing. Kick ball under five to go here. Semifinal number one. It's Dayton and Virginia coming up. I like Virginia. I like Virginia a lot. I, I, you know, they lost last year. Okay, for a 16 seed, that's fine. But their backcourt is tremendous. Uh, DeAndre Hunter is on the wooden watch list, along with Kyle Guy, Ty Jerome, clutch shooter. Nothing not to like about UVA. And Dayton, Josh Cunningham, really good redshirt senior. Jalen Crutcher had 20 yesterday. Beat Butler. I think it kind of surprised a lot of people because Butler's got a nice team. Butler couldn't get any buckets. Foul be on the floor. The other thing with that Dayton team, that backcourt you mentioned, Crutcher, but Jordan Davis, another guy, last year did such a good job taking care of the basketball. A little over 130 minutes this year, and Davis has one turnover. Yeah, he's 9-1. to one. Gets you in the Hall of Fame. Well, that's math I can hit, 9-1. to one. You know, we start doing that assist to turnover ratio, and the guy has one. I mean, I can, I'll yeah. lock that down all day. Yeah. I don't need them to wheel in the abacus or break out the calculator or anything. Nine and one. Yeah, the gazindas work pretty good there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he deserves a standing O right here. Dimitri Tri has been outstanding. A career high 25 for the redshirt sophomore. And seven of eight from three. Boot, his dad, Travis Trice Sr., provided me with one of the worst afternoons of my life. I was assistant coach at Indiana. We went to Butler Hinkle Fieldhouse, and his dad, I don't know if he hit eight threes or eight hundred threes. I don't know. I do not know. But on the way back from Indianapolis to Bloomington, we stopped in Martinsville, Indiana. Coach Knight made everybody get their practice gear out from under the bus. 
Why? Because we went straight to Assembly Hall, and I mean, it was a practice where not only did Coach Knight murder the players, but he murdered the assistants for recruiting the players. It was a bad, bad, bad Saturday afternoon in Bloomington. 16-point advantage, Wisconsin, the Badgers on top here in the Bahamas. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Bad Boy Mowers Builds a Better Mower. Mow with an attitude. And Atlantis Paradise Island. Bahamas at heart. The God Gate. Hunter on the Wooden Award watch list. Guy they did not have in the NCAA tournament last year. He broke his wrist in the ACC tournament. And it looks like it'll be Wisconsin in the championship game, and Virginia hoping to punch its ticket with a win over Dayton and match up against them tomorrow. 15, 8, and 9 yesterday for Hunter. Ty Jerome and Kyle Guy are just they're an interesting backcourt because not neither are the quickest, neither are the biggest, neither are the strongest, but I'll tell you what they do, they do make shots. I mean they make shots, they make them early, they make them late. And they are confident, incredibly confident players. Ty Jerome, the New York kid. You mentioned the freshman from Stanford, Bryce Wills. From my own prep, same school for Ty Jerome. Tell you what, Kyle Guys from Indiana, Lower Central High School, Mr. Basketball in the state, got away, Indiana, Purdue. James looking for some space. Now to Odoms, back to James. Shot clock is under 10. James at the basket, had it blocked, and then it's off James and out of bounds. What a great play coming over by Iverson. Have got in there as well, but man, that kid right there has been fantastic. Making all the hustle plays, being in the right spot, using what he has, which is terrific athleticism. Look at this, this comes over, straight jump, telling you. He's the best off two feet pogoing jumper you're going to find. Six feet, five inches. I think that's generous. I stood next to him. I don't, I don't know. What's your media guy height? My, I'm six foot five in shoes. So that's how I measure every guy. Um, now half goes to the right block and goes to the left hand. He's just, he's just feeling good this half. He's been half with a dozen, 10 points as well, or 10 rebounds as well. Odoms, and a tip from McNeese. Seventeen point game here. The battle for Atlanta, semifinal number one. It's been all Wisconsin here in the second half. Demetri Trice with a heck of a game. Career high 25, and he has set a tournament record, by the way, with seven three pointers. And there's Iverson all point blank. Couldn't finish. How about half did? Half with the underhand up tap. Twice, not once, but twice got it to roll. 14 down for Ethan Half. 11 rebounds to go along with it. Odom short on that shot. 12th rebound of the game for Ethan Hat. And a timeout call. This is a good Wisconsin team. Look, this is this looks like what Wisconsin basketball has been or had been through the Bo Ryan years. They're running the swing offense, they're getting the ball where it needs to be, they're shooting the basketball. Really good team. And I think the idea, remember I was gonna. Seth Greenberg asked whether this is a better Oklahoma team. Yes. No. Not yet. Maybe later. But uh, Oklahoma didn't get dismantled like this last year. All right, a reminder coming up at 6 Eastern on ESPN. It's Sports Center with Zubin and Kevin. They'll look at how the Bills can win without Mitchell Trubisky, plus handicapping the Heisman race between Tua and Kyler Murray in last night's game we break down the state of the Warriors Sports Center 6 p.m. right here on ESPN and the ESPN app.
Tony Bennett and the Virginia Cavaliers watching our game. That's got to be weird. He's staring at a TV. He sees himself. Should we put us on camera and then we'll wave at him? Sure. You can do that. <laughs> yeah. And then we wave hey, to Tony. those guys. Hey, guys. How you doing, Coach Bennett? Good luck. Hope you do well. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving. Hey, Boo, can I give you an update on the uh, Pilgrim? Yeah, that's TV Gold right there, by the way. Kayleen says the Pilgrim is on his honeymoon. His wife is at the beach, and the guy dressed in the turkey is their friend. Who takes their friend on a freaking honeymoon? Yeah. That's just weird. Indeed. Well, congratulations to the Pilgrim uh, getting married. Turkey, go on your own honeymoon. Yeah. But if you're dressed in turkey, chances are you might not ever have a honeymoon. See what happens. What do you want to do? I got a turkey outfit for your honeymoon. Oh. Lean forward back in the game as James hits a three. And he has 18. Christian James knocking that one down. <laughs> Cracking myself up. Hey, honey, we're going on a honeymoon. You mind if I bring my pilgrim hat? No problem, sweetie. What's on your mind? What about the turkey? Outfit. He's got a juice box. What's he doing? Whoa! Charlie Thomas. The Pilgrim, the Turkey, everybody's happy. James not able to hit. Ford tracks down the rebound. Under a minute to go. Second half has belonged to Wisconsin, and so does this game. And they will take on the winner of Gayton and Virginia. That game to follow right here in the Bahamas. Wisconsin today with 14 threes. They went 14 of 22. And a nice move there by Trevor Anderson. The former Green Bay player is now a walk-on here at Wisconsin. Take a look at our player of the game right here. And on Thanksgiving, you know that Greg Gard is thankful for Demetri Trice. That is brought to you by Bad Boy Mowers. 25 points, 4 assists, and... Both the 25 points and the seven threes, career highs for Dimitri. And he guarded. You know, he guarded. He took charges. He guarded. He led. And that kid is a winning guy. One thing about him, he can tell. He worked on his body. He was really skinny, and he's worked at it. And as I said earlier, has a terrific basketball family. And congratulations! Now you got to come back, get a win tomorrow, and take home a championship if they can. Trice with 25, and Greg Gard and the Badgers with a win. Our final year, 78-58, the final score. Still to come, Dayton and Virginia, winner of that one. We'll take on Wisconsin, our championship game, tomorrow afternoon. Wisconsin wins it over Oklahoma, our final year in the Bahamas, 78-58. For Dan Dockich and our entire outstanding crew, I'm John Shambi saying so long from the Bahamas. Still to come, semifinal number two. It'll be Dayton and Virginia. Right now, we send you back to the studio. College basketball live scoreboard. Chris Cotter, take it away.